Hello and welcome back again to Erratus, Wrath of the Necromancer. We are about to proceed for. We did a little dark ring, real quick, off screen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did a little dark ring off screen. We decided our Dark Knight's taken enough of a beating that we wanted to commit a full suite of legendary abilities to them. And we threw almost all of it into health. We finally bumped him over 100. Finally. It just, it took, oh god, these things are so actually weak once you get through their armor. So anything that has stuff that reduces armor is like anathema to them, which no fun and no good because it's probably going to be a recurring enemy. It looks like we can go through quest after quest after quest though, which is just intoxicating to me. I am a big fan of doing the quest. Let's do a quick run over here, double check what our stats were we were going to do on this. I see health. Max health, okay. Max health, never bad to get up more. Um, and as for you, I think we keep holding on to this to get one more point into your warding, which may take a little while. Actually, hold on, what are you... We could, uh, go ahead and just go for that. We have enough blue over here, we need to do that. We need, okay, maybe we need a little bit more than what we actually uh, currently have at our disposal here. Check our rags. Looks like we do. Oh, we're only a couple points away. If we were to just take some time to screw around and get some more of this, but I've already been doing this for a little bit. And it's no fun for just continually fiddle faddle with that kind of stuff. So I think we're gonna go ahead and proceed here and go after these dudes with the stress squad. I didn't even check out my artifacts, or maybe I should have done that first. Oh well. Look at all that armor and wording. What are you supposed to do? I know what I'm supposed to do, and that is funeral march. Get the buffs and debuffs cooking around. He should be a little bit harder to hurt. I mean, he's got 24 armor. I got faith. Is it misplaced? I don't know. We'll see. But I got it. I right, got that going. And let's see. Do we want to go ahead and spin people around all over the place? Nah, we'll do stress damage. That's fine. And then we will lower their attack power. Alright, not bad. Starting the game, or first turn off with weakness. Weakness is particularly good. That's particularly bad, but cowardice also particularly good. Take it, eat it. Unfortunately, it appears that we are going to have to use another big AoE spell. I say unfortunately, but I love doing it. Just bam, hit him with that. Drop him with the no tomorrow. Having a good old time. Now, what does this do? Increases damage dealt, reduces damage, blah blah blah. And then cowardice, deal stress damage to all allies equal to 20% of their current remaining sanity. Okay, so we keep him around, eventually he will uh, help us take people out, which is good. Which is really good. But also... Abominable strength. I thought that was going to be enough, even if it redirected onto him. Uh, I was just kind of doing that for funsies. Apparently not good enough, I have to give them some more respect, they're more durable. Then I thought, can you take non-stop blast? Oh, cow ooh, double cowardice. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> Drop that down even more. Get him with that. Heart attack acquired. We did it, boys. All right, now I think when we roll over 20%. Okay, it's the fire that hurts the most. But we have a little bit of health regeneration on that to help us out. Uh, do we have just one big blast? We kind of have to slake, don't we? Do a little bit more. 18's a lot, but kind of got to get that off as possible. This is my have to redirect there. No option. Always block stuff. Gonna take a lot of fire from this, I believe. <laughs> yep, that, yep, yep. I'm just gonna slurpy straw that back in real quick. That, however, will not do a damn thing. He is the ghost with the most. You got nothing on him, sister. Doing with that, which removes, completely eliminates the rest of his stress, which is real nice. We're gonna go ahead and follow that up with another debuff. Just keep that attack as low as we can. Please, he's just a little boy. Oh, the scream normally gets him. I'm surprised. It looks like we're going to be stuck in dread roaring here. Yeah, that's enough. I'm surprised Dark Knight managed to get a skip ahead of our abomination. My Must have been the, the work of his own funeral side. march. But that's all okay. No problems because 
we eventually uh, upgraded all of our alchemy last episode, if you didn't see that. Which means we are completely fine with just throwing stuff in here to both get mana back, uh, get spell power, clean up this mess later. and with the power of distillation, we make all of our boys and girls a little less vulnerable to attack damage and do a little bit more attack damage. Double knights? Uh... That sounds like we go with these guys still. It's just two targets, but... Maybe the way they take up space makes it more complicated. I don't know. Currently, I, I just think we're fine. Seems fine to me. So, let's double check our artifacts before we head back out there. Make sure we got the right ones. We got removal of block and ward. Really, it's just the ward part that matters. Maybe we have a better weapon than this, actually. Land set. Oh, well, that could be good. But again, just getting rid of the ward is really hard to compete with. What do we put here for our... Helper ability. Let's see. First one cost zero. Sure. Why not? Then we'll get the stress boys out there. I don't like the idea of the double ignite on my dark knight, so I may end up shielding him a fair few times. Oh boy, they are fast, aren't they? Uh oh. <laughs> um. Well, I think we're going to... Well, I don't have the one that I thought I did where it removes all debuffs, but that might not even be a debuff, so who the hell... What do I know? Let's get that taken away. And then we have to go ahead and spin the stress on these guys. And remove all debuffs from the knight is okay. Oh, goodness. Let's... Try to get rid of this, I suppose? We need to know. If nothing else, we get rid of Wrath. Okay, it does get rid of that. Thank God. Now we can go ahead with... I think we go ahead with Funeral March, but maybe I'm wrong. We're gonna go for it. Go ahead and get that taken away. I am worthy, he says. Yeah. Alright. Big thing is to remove some of their attack power. And also to get the curse jumping on them. Alright, so moving hurt, moving bad, got it, understood. I can't force them to move either, and I don't have anything that just automatically breaks stances on these boys right here, so I think what we do is we just drop in there tomorrow. That's fine. Then we are going to assist them with a stress blast of darkness, I'm sure. Make sure I don't have any other viable options. Probably not. Just get the 66 extra damage on them. That is good enough. Moving forward. Does it attack that or is he displaced and not actually count as moving? Things like that are probably pretty important distinctions. We're going to go ahead and redirect. Keep him safe. He'll do a little bit of stress by doing that. So I think this is fine to do. There's not sure. Um... Lower evasion. Their evasion's not really high to begin with. We have pretty high accuracy. So do they. I just noticed that for the first time. Jesus Christ. They're already cursed, I believe, with Inferno and Crowpaw. So I guess applying this is the best. So we also get that to trigger. It's a sizable little chunk. And Accelerando. Uh, only one of them has it, so only one of them will get the D buff. That kind of stinks. Let's go ahead and get the Dread Whale, actually. See what this next big buff's all about. Oh, we got one. Got rid of us. Alright. Good enough. Getting kind of spooky. Don't really want him to take all that damage. Let's go for no tomorrow. Why can you fight indeed? Alright, so... I think I tried a Dread Roar. But will it hit them back there? I don't know. Because this is first and second position, so I can't really target that position. But I definitely don't want to break and decimate, because even though 77 is a lot, it's not enough to take him down in one shot, I'm sure. I'm going to try this for the, you know, the science. We're still doing a pretty uh, significant chunk of damage. Double cowardice. Don't you run away. Uh-oh. Okay, maybe consider running away. 
Uh, Accelerando again. I think it will proc on both this time. Yeah, it will. Got the debuff. Got the shot. And now we are a Legion. We can apply our Ghostly Inferno again. Hit them both. Double curse. Hit them with this. Okay, good. Heart attack immediately. Thank God. Buffed? Accuracy. Right. Okay. Well, let's take a second. We gotta do this. We don't want him to die horribly, so let's take that. Let's uh, go ahead and give him just a blast of sorrow. Not quite over the limit for that, but that is okay. Give them the painful nibble. Hard check. There we go. Good enough. My will is a tide that will wash away your pathetic. But only two enemies. We're getting a piddly amount of parts. Which has some nice competitive appeal to it, doesn't it? Ooh. All right, we got. Is that middle one familiar? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I feel like we've seen her before on one of the later floors, but maybe she just looks kind of similar. Hmm. I could have sworn she was going to be like a construct or something, but no, no dice there. Apparently it is someone brand new, and if there are a bunch of brand new people, we need to take a quick assessment of what's going on. Looks like there may be double mages, if I had to take a guess. I don't know what the monk would do. These are just all new enemies, aren't they? Alright, to the lab. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and get some distillation going. Ah, the smell of successful then alchemy. some <laughs> calcination. Just use the extra spell power, just in case. Let's send in the Du Bois. All right. Just straight up D and D stereotypes. All right. When kills, remove all buffs from my boys. We don't really do buffs on this squad, so monks are okay for stress so far. Wait, hold on. Tax ignore. I was wrong. Oh no, he's going for like pressure points or something. <laughs> Jesus fuck. All right. Doesn't escape. Immune to buffs and deep buffs. Immune to stress attacks. What are you? Are you a statue? After dying, give allies. Okay, so I guess we can leave her for the very last. After dying, deal magic damage to all minions. What a weird set of foes. You will restore. What are these wards? And then we'll go for a stance step on no tomorrow. I guess we're gonna go for the guys in the back. We can take a little bit of magic damage, that's not bad. What's your accuracy, bub? Oh, both of those are quite high. So we're going to go ahead and lower your evasion and increase our stuff. That should be good. Okay. I think we're fine. You know, maybe. But we're going to do Echoing Terror to move them all around, just in case. I want that monk at the back. I do not want to deal with him. He sounds horrible to deal with. And then we do this. There we are. Oh, you love to see it. Berserk, hate to see that. All remaining straight. We got like some of the worst panics on the ones I'm most uh, scared about. And we got a stun. Uh... Hmm. Got some negative feels right here. All right, so if he moves into this, what's the uh, what's the thing here? unsure. Uh, what I am sure is that we need to break and decimate someone if we can get away with it, which would probably be the monk. Probably will be the monk because, Jesus. Let's double check, and yeah, it looks like we're gonna get away with it. Unless I'm missing something. We're gonna lose our regeneration from his ability, I think, unless that just is stuck on me. Okay, so the permanent duration ones do not go away. Good to know. Let's go ahead and get off that other ward and hurt you with the 82. 80? Jesus Christ. So much damage. Um. Hmm. That's what just shoot you. Curse the ones in the back. Why not? And since you're all the way up here, maybe we just. Shattering Hal the statue. Yeah. We got a stun. Ghost with the most, taking the hits for us, feels good. That does not, that mark hurts. Uh, we got more misses. 
Heart attack. Resistance gain. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, so. We can probably just snap this little boy up. And we are 100% going to. Okay. I think we're fine. Yeah, maybe. As long as that finally goes away at some point. What are your armors? You are most of... Uh, weak to physical damage. Where is our big physical blaster? Let's get rid of you. Wait, hold on, hold on. That's the wrong one. Lancet. There we are. Gore. Ah, crap. Not paying attention again. Just woke up. Please forgive me. We're gonna go with dark cleansing here. Maybe that'll get rid of our mark. Okay, thank God. I was more afraid of that than anything else. Uh, and now... Uh, there's not really a whole lot we can do that matters to this thing. I don't even think we can break through his armor. What is that? 20? Oh, okay. We can get through it. We won't do a whole lot. We can get through it. We hold 10 damage. Quiver. Uh, do we absorb terror? Can we even do that? I want her to get towards the back. So we get abomination closer to the front. Doing that entirely for displacement. And we are rewarded. Get a little bit of health back. Give them the slurpy straw attack. And we can't quite get them either. Uh, hold on. Let's go ahead and just stop again. Get our buffs up. You back here. I don't know what you can do except just keep screaming at them. I mean, I, I saw the mask and I thought maybe it was going to be another one of these damn uh, constructs. But then it's like fleshy looking, so it's like, hey, you're probably fine. And I was wrong. Brain of Gore. Immune to debuffs. That's unfortunate, but really we're just doing it to put the damage on her. Alright, I'm just doing that to get him moved to the front. We'll get through it eventually, boys. Stop that. So absolutely unequivocally rude. Be enough left to reanimate. What should we sit in that? Like a hundred and something? Please get us out of here. As fast as possible. I'm done with this. We are in the uh, annoyance phase of the fight. I, <laughs> I guess justice means you just have to sit there. Luckily, hitting him at least gives us back some resources, so we didn't lose Mother out entirely God. on him being in the fight. I'd hate to see plants using it as fertilizer. We definitely have to heal after that one, though. That was a lot of pain. Also, speaking of a lot of pain, we have picked up a final spell: and so the Skull Fall. Dark powers returned. Damage me. instead of stress. So, really good with some of our other builds over here. But what do we have next? What do we have going on? A quest. A quest. A questing I will go. Uh, I think we're going to go with the original squad over here. And there, with that, we are going to do a little bit of swapping around with our abilities that we have. We're going to take off the Destruction Mall. We'll use a flask. Why not? And then we are... Where are our other... There it is. There's our Infused Dagger. Take off the Shackles. And here we had... Ooh. Huh. Huh. Interesting. No, we're not we're not gonna do it, but I that was enough to give me pause, because so that is really interesting. Now get wrath get my undead our limited resources back every turn, which is an amazing ability. And uh, I think also let's go ahead as we're going into a quest, we will take it seriously. Get some mana back. Uh, let's dip down here into the weapons and skulls and then grab like a bone. Why not? Uh, skeleton. And then distillation for some dust and some blood. There we are. Everyone's happy. And then we can go ahead with our murdery cells. Hopefully we get like a permanent bonus here. Let's see. While you're busy considering your next brilliant stratagem, your undead stumble across a bunch of ragged, filthy humans. It takes mere seconds for you to realize they are grave robbers still trying to ply their trade despite the apocalyptic battle happening all around them. 
All you observe them with the amusement, they likewise spot your undead and quickly duck into a crypt and bar the gates behind them. Might be a good idea to kill them and take anything they found, but is it really worth your time? Of course. They came this way for a reason. You guys are grave robbers? And who are you? Hmm. Left alone in battle, acts twice each turn and deals 50% more damage after dying. Increase the evasion of all allies by 10. Ugh. Okay, so that's that's painful, but I think we can deal with it. Where's our snip snap? We want to go ahead and get rid of you as soon as we can. Yeah. Although I guess we could have uh, increased our spell power a little bit more, but I mean, look at how high it already is. We are going to be just cheating. Hmm. Spider's not going to affect you. I think... God, there's not a whole lot we can do that will work, is it? We can't displace them. I guess we could have waited a fatal bond on that thing, but I think we're okay. I'll just throw spiders out there. I'll block, uh, break some block, and then we can at least do a little bit of damage. Ooh. Don't like that. Not a fan. But who cares what I like, right? Let's see what else we can do. I have a lot of warding, so it's not really a lot to do from that. I don't need to gain mana back. This low level warding is actually kind of a pain in the ass. We'll do pain mirror. Sure. Take a little bit less damage. Seems good. Got no damage mitigation on the Ronin. That's something at least. And then I think we're going to... Do we keep him planted there? I don't think it really matters either way. Let's go ahead and start putting damage back here on the knight. Or at least open up the possibility of doing damage. Okay. We're at least pouring, uh, pulling some warding off of them at least. Oh, a double strike. Okay. Not a fan. Not a fan, but I, I can respect it. We finished getting the warding off. Look at all the attack power we have. How strong is our big attack now? That's magic damage. Where are you? Oh, hold on. Let's get rid of this before we forget about it. We should put on our infused dagger ability, which would be crush bones. So we got that there. We don't ever use haste anymore, do we? I mean, it's fine, but we have other things to do, like skull fall here. Maybe we should have done that to begin with. Don't know, I do know. Let's go ahead and get rid of, this, of the warding there in case we do need to do a big AoE attack like that. And as for now, I think we are going to, let's see, apply a Curse of Agony maybe? We have no buffs to get rid of at the moment, so why not? Grand Deception could be pretty good. Up the evasion of our guy back here. So blah, 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 blah. I think that's okay. Let's go ahead and throw Hungry Shadows down, though. On you? No. No, on you. And then we just kind of hope that she doesn't destroy us. Okay, so she's just doing Arrow Rain, which I say just, but it's actually quite a problem for us. Maybe if we... Crit. Ooh, 72, very nice. To reanimate. And the insanity. Going berserk. Ugh, oh, come on. Ooh. Ooh, thank you. Less thank you. Not, not a fan of that. I think we go ahead. Let's see, what do you got? 20 left. Let's just go ahead and take him out. Destroy that extra little bit of block there. Send them into the fog. Ward. Dropped. We got that at least. Uh, I don't think the Scythe of Oblivion will take him out right here. But I think it will hurt a lot. I'll take it. Uh, now we have Spider Lady right here. We can't debuff them, but we can Invigorating Cocoon to try and take the damage off of our poor lady back here. Uh, I don't think there's anything else we can do with him. We don't want to swap spots around, that's for damn sure. I guess we can just go ahead and get the warding off back here. That's something at least. Oh. Oh. Jesus Christ. What was that? I thought that was the move around one. Excuse me. Uh, let's try that again. Okay, let's get the health. We got something going for us at least. 
indeed. Cut and trampled. Every time they die. More blocking and warding. Uh, well, we're gonna use our T. Jump, jump. Get through that. And then, what do we do here? I guess we are just going to hit them with a Grand Deception onto you. Maybe we can get a Magic Blast on them after the fact. Yes! I thought that's what was going to happen, and I am rewarded. Hmm. I think we're going to go for a Terror Blast, though. You will soon embrace get your as much existence. off of that as possible. No more... No more armor, no more blocking, no more any of that. Just trying to live. Cocoon! Try and take a shot for it, if at all possible. Uh, you, though... Do we ignite you? I suppose we can. It's not bad to have the curse taken along. It's not like we're going to be here for a short amount of time. Mm -hmm. This makes it free, but do we care about free or do we just want them to go down as quickly as possible? I'm kind of leaning towards just going down as quickly as possible. So let's just hit them with that for a titanic amount of damage. Am I cheating? It kind of feels like it. Just a bit. We'll left that. Why not? We figured. Take the big, enormous 102 damage crit there. Jesus lord. Feels amazing. Back into the cocoon with you, and I think we can finish you off here with the Scythe of Oblivion. Yeah, 400. Reign of Gore helping boost the attack power even more. Ooh, Ooh. You know, if this keeps up, I'll be done purging Mark's the world. Ahead of this before is an additional action in round one. Huh. Interesting. Your minions burst into the crypt and make short work of the grave robbers, finding among their remains a few curious trinkets that hold special powers. However, just as they were about to leave, a bunch of risen heroes block off the only exit and you'll have to fight your way out. Ah, I can use this. Well, that is unfortunate, but that is also okay. Let's go ahead and hail of teeth, I think, to get this guy, uh, torn off. Hold on. Hmm. Yes? Attack damage. Interesting. Or okay, 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 okay. Um, I think we still do a hail of teeth. Pretty sure. No, no hit that off of you. There's no sun up when in we want to hit the thing, we want to hit. The, we don't need to have any interference. But then we can do fatal bondage. Pull him to the front. So we also get, I guess we could have saved the teeth then, and that's the case, huh? Yeah. Oh well, it's not that big of a deal. It's kind of a pain in the ass. So far, spell power a little bit more. And I think we want to go ahead and get that down as well. Hard to say. Who's got the big armor? Do we go for stripping the armor off of the Viking? I think we do. It's not a bad play. But, again, we do have to get through him first, don't we? He is an amazing defender, Jesus Christ. Luckily, we got blocks back here to make up for these small mistakes that I'm making. Is that a guaranteed stun? Has that missed a stun yet? Jesus. Alright, we got a buff going, which is a huge amount of damage, and he receives half damage. He's at 134. I think we go ahead and hit him with the Reign of Gore. So that we can soften him up to a big hit at least sight right here. And now we can help heal up the spider, that little extra bit that she needs. Into that. We're also going to black radiance to lower your accuracy to 76. Might be just what we need there. Um Terra Blast right here? Or disfigurement? I'm gonna say disfiguring flurry. Get rid of all of your block. A uh, couple misses, which is gonna get you shot in the head in retaliation. It's gonna get us a little bit of our uh, precious resources back that we really do need at this point. Right, we got a basic heal there. A basic heal is pretty good. We're hitting a hail of beast, get her block off. And now I think we're going to cocoon. Let's have her take taking shots for us, which we really need. 
And what do we do here? Let's see, lowered accuracy. Damage received is less. Recovers a lot of stats each turn. All right. Uh, I think we go ahead and go in with solo die section. It's not going to be a lot of regenerated mana, but we could use that. And you're a little bit tankier than uh, than our Dampier right here, so it's a little helpful. And then we're going to go with Void Claws. We don't have a lot of high stress on them right now. We could if we really desired to do it that way, but uh, we do not have the opportunity to work with it at the moment. So we're going to go ahead and just lower his accuracy again. There we go. And now we can finally get off his armor total. That's going to leave a mark. Increasing his damage to us, but hopefully he won't increase to miss. Did not miss. Lowered her armor, but she does not take with armor. She takes with sheer amount of health. Helping herself out with regeneration. That's a little bit of a pain in the ass, but overall it's not too, too bad. Now we can hit him with the... I'm going to say the Reign of Gore is not necessary. We can do this. And then uh, we'll put him in the very, very front. Take more hits for us. There we go. So what are you getting now? Uh, increased damage dealt. Increased damage received. Half light support. Okay, okay. Well, huge amount of pain in the ass there. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and just get rid of all of that. Thank you. I think that may have also given him some spider venom, which is pretty nice. Stick that there in case there's any dancing or moving around. And then we just, uh, we lunch the front. Nah. Nah, I think we just shoot him. With a bunch of tiny attacks. Bunch of crits there. Overall, I think more damage than critting with that. I'm not sure. Just an idea. Ow! That is probably the most pain in the ass construct we've ever had to deal with. Like, that is a high title to have. Because they are all huge pains in the ass. Spiders! Your frail bodies fail you. A little bit of a counteraction to the mending that they're doing. Probably don't need it because we're about to scythe them to death. There we go. And you do not get buffs, so that's why I'm leaving her to the very end. Sometimes, rarely, I actually have decent ideas. Do we reapply this here? No, I think we just save it. But we can reduce your... No, we can't. I just said they were immune to buffs and debuffs. Our poor vampire. <laughs> such... Uh, such mistreatment. Um, let's see here. Not going to do a lot of damage to them no matter what we do here because that is not really her point and purpose in this fight. But we can do a little bit. Take 31 spider damage. Immaculate precision. Is that a... Thank you, I suppose. Take that. Uh, probably won't be enough to kill them with the scythe, but we can put the damage on them, which is what we're really caring about. And then we just uh, get some evasion, put her at the back. Uh oh. Gotta be more careful with that. I think we are going to go ahead with this hail of teeth. Just a little bit of tickle damage there. And do that, and that should be enough for one of our people to finish him off. Maybe with spiders? You did it! I'm so proud! Soon this world will be mine. Hope this quest was worth it. Chance to retrieve thousands. You can really just be a really potion spamming type of guy with this, can't you? All right. <laughs> Damn, that was not worth the effort. Like at all. Like at all at all. I feel so bad now. <laughs> Oh, whatever, I suppose. Let's just throw that in the attack power. We'll throw, I don't know, evasion. They're just doing stuff to make ourselves feel a little bit better. Here, have some more armor. Some more armor. And then, I don't know, an artifact into right here, since we're spending so much damn mana these days. Stick you there. 
We don't really need the still, I suppose. What do we got coming up? Oh, maybe I'm wrong. Actually, we are going to like distill and stuff, and I think we're going to do this real quick, real fast. Uh, hearts and rags. Make sure everyone's stopped up. Uh, skeleton will clean up and then calcination later. to spam as many abilities as our dark hearts desire. And anything else we want to do with these guys? I mean, we could always take a breather to just upgrade their powers. Now, he doesn't really get anything out of armor plating. He rarely gets hit. So I'm thinking I'm just putting the Bane Aura on him. I don't know. That's... That seems good, right? Let's try to battle increase damage down for each available part in the Chamber of Aratus. Eh, maybe. What would he do twice on round one? Spell power buff and then... Try to hit somebody with agony, I suppose. Don't really think that's necessary either. I think we're just gonna go with the Bane Aura. Boop. Increased spell power even more. I think we might start with over a hundred after his first turn. Or maybe we're just starting with over a hundred now, I'm not sure. I guess we're about to find out. Hello! So we are indeed starting with a hundred and twenty-seven spell power, which is just so much. <laughs> oh, that makes me feel a little bit better. Let's go ahead and do a slake with darkness, blast all of them, and then valid target. Excuse me, can I not? I don't know what the hell he's going on about. Let me get rid of that just a little bit, and then we will go ahead in this power as well. Why we do it in that order? I don't know. Just kind of felt like it. Uh, fatal Bondage. Get rid of his stuff now. Reducing his damage as well. And Spider Venom is taking away. Jesus! Uh. Alright, hold on. Let's just... Excuse me? All enemies lose attack. Five. There we go. That's something. That heals him up a tiny bit. Which he needs because apparently the monk is going to be a uh, pain for us for a long time. Throw that down. If anyone wants to do any dancing around, they're going to have to take that to the face. Uh, anything we do, he's been stuck onto him. We can go ahead and attack him more, but I guess that means we need to go ahead and hit him with a disfiguring volley. Make them suffer. And I reckon the Reaper is going to take him out after this. At least we have the blocks to keep from being stunned every time. She's immune, you fool! Let's go with the scythe. Alright, good stuff. You fall into the nasty gunk right there. Let's go ahead with another slake of darkness. And, um... I think we're gonna go ahead and drag the dude at the back all the way to the front, yeah? There you go. Land in the nasty. And now that we have done that, and we have some extra ability to work against our enemy, I think we're going to go with this and just swap you right back into the bug. And lower that all-important accuracy that you have. Let's get to work on you back here. At least get rid of the armor. Do a crit to do a little pain to them and get the block off. That's not going to be nearly as effective as you want it to be, I'm afraid. Excuse me, hold on, I'm trying to read. Ancient Law making him a lot tougher. That's only going to be there for a turn, though, so I don't really, really care. I think we're going to go ahead. Hey, no throwing extra buffs around on stuff, man. Yeah, come on. There we go. Now we're going to throw the Agony of Terror on you. And you can get to chomping away at stuff. Uh, I think we... Uh, I don't know, do we debuff him again? I feel like that might be a bit excessive. You know what, let's just cocoon. Get the healing. That's fine. We can Void Claws this to do a huge chunk of damage onto him. There we are. Get a bunch of our resources back. Hmm. It swapped into the poison, did not take damage. Interesting. Also, we told you that you are going to be not having armor. Extinction of life. 
Yeah, I thought so. Oh, they're just chain healing and buffing each other forever. Not a fan. Let's go ahead and get the chopping on this. There's no sun up in the sky. Bony weather incoming. Hmm. They're really making this irritating for us. But the turn of endless power is unnecessary. I think we're just going to go ahead and hit him with the scythe. We are fully geared up with magic power right now. Too bad we can't do a whole hell of a lot with it. Uh, let's go ahead and throw more hungry shadows down. Get your ward gun at least. We can do that. And if anyone moves around, again. Ow! Come on. Be a good sport about things. Let's uh, do a lunge at this guy. Open their husks. Get someone with some block all the way to the front. Oh, this is just an exercise in like making me fucking frustrated. All right, let's do some poison webs. At least we can tick away at these guys, or I can miss. Ugh, never mind. Well, maybe we can get a sight of oblivion. We cannot because we have uh, some block. Whoa, hold on. What is your? 84? Maybe I should have checked meditation because damn, that is an enormous amount of healing. Or, uh, excuse me, enormous amount of evasion. And their stats are all the way back up. Ugh, feeling awful. Alright, let's debuff you, move you forward, throw people in the fog. Maybe we can actually just take him down. Almost. Can the spider and the fire get him? Or will he be healed before? Okay, they're focusing on the monk. Oh. Oh, thank god. Something. Progress! What are you immune to? Okay, so we can hit you with the Reign of Gorth. Does Reign of Gorth just kill you? Damn near. Jesus lord. Alright, let's go ahead and get him with the, uh, scythe. Kill all of our compatriots, our comrades, whatever you want to call them, all healed up. More potions, should have done that. And then we are just going to tune ourselves. Stanced up. That is a lot of, um... A lot of buffs and warding and such. Oh well, hold on, we're gonna go ahead and... Grand Deception. With our boy right here. We do not want him to just die from piercing punches. Retreating escape. Did you bitch out? This man is just going to bitch out. The dishonor? Hold on. Blood curse. If they escape, get a vampire. I suppose we could do that. Well, we don't have any ability to spell him down, do we? Let's uh, do this. My kingdom comes. Get that cooking. Well, we can't get him down with that, so I guess we curse him, ignite him, because we are filled with hate for him. Uh, let's get. Crimson hunger. There you go, friend. Now you get to join us after all this is said and done. Isn't that exciting? Last chance to stick around. That's a damn shame, a sad display for more. I'll take a vampire, thanks. You work for us now. It's a level one vampire, so it's not really anything particularly amazing. But we do get to uh, have a little bit of... What's the word there? Catharsis? Is that the right word? For like, hey, you can't get away from me. Fuck you. Oh, a plague doctor, how cute. And a monk and an expert healer and an, oh my god. So, uh, the more monks, not a fan. At least we're not bringing along our stress boy though, because all he's got is armor. He does not have the raw health totals. The Dark Knight would just get torn apart, which makes me really sad to say, but it's true. Maybe we could put him in position too. Let's see. That'll be some nice experimentation for the next time we're doing this. Feudal hopes we can drop anywhere, but no tomorrow. Unfeeling, eh, has to be way back. But we can still do that. So it looks like he's fine at the position too. We can still do that. And we can have the Abomination do his thing, maybe. 
he can't hunger, he can roar, he can't battle thump, he can shield. Oh my god, I'd rather have the uh, the buff off of that. So this is going to be something we're going to kick around and work on tomorrow. I think tomorrow was going to be an extended one. We're going to be finishing up Erratus because uh, there's not a whole lot left here. Final level in the cemetery. We can finish off whoever this final boss is. I don't know what's up with this paladin looking dude. I'm assuming he's part of the party that originally killed Erratus or some crap like that. But it will not work this time for sure. So, again, that's going to be it for today. Thank you for dropping by. If you liked, give the whole like, the sub thing. If you really enjoy what we're doing here, want to see more of this, or just want to see some of the other videos I've done on this channel, or currently am doing, I'm doing two concurrent videos to uh, for a test period, <laughs> I'm trying to say, uh, for the next couple weeks or so to see how that works out. See if I can do it. So, check, check that out. It's another XCOM series. It's a different one. It's more. Uh, in tune with the very original game, the 94 game. It's a little different. I won't spoil anything here, but if you want to check that out, please do. Feel free. And yeah, that's going to be it. So uh, thank you for dropping by. Take care, and I'll see you next time.